Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So this video is a little bit special. I actually tried to record two videos just for this Friday. First one didn't turn out that good. Second one, I didn't record my audio, my lovely voice. So that all went to crap. <laughs> but as you know, I really want to upload every Friday. And I found some old footage from May and uh, June or July, I think. So this is going to be a PC build and fixing my studio type video type beat, you know. This video obviously won't get as many views uh, as uh, usual. So to those of you who clicked on this video, I just want to say thank you. Here's a discount code on mhmusic.com if you want to get something from there. A little sound bank or a sample pack or something. Think of it as a little appreciation discount, Halloween discount, whatever. Uh, but yeah, thanks for your support. I really hope you're going to enjoy this video. Like I said, the footage is quite old at this point, but um, yeah, enjoy. Hello? Hello guys! Oh, it's so echo in here. So I am in the new apartment. We're building a PC. We haven't moved in yet, so there's no furniture and the audio is like really really bad. So I'll try like not to talk so much. But yeah, god damn, I'm so excited. Look at this. 3090 baby. Let's get started, shall we? A little disclaimer, I haven't built a PC in like two years, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but hopefully it's gonna work out. The motherboard, N7B550, uh, I just love NCXT's motherboards, and uh, yeah, they recently came out with this for the AMD, what's it called, AM4 chip, right? So here it is. AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, right? Yeah, very nice processor. That's it, right? The lever is down. Next up is the RAM. 4x 16 gigabyte DDR4 3200 megahertz. We've got the RAM in there. Oh yeah, look at that boy. Next up, M.2 SSD, boy. Okay, I didn't film it but I got the motherboard in. This video is like all over the place. Not a very detailed build, but uh, I haven't built a computer in so long and I just, I need to focus. Oh my God, you guys. This is an RTX 3090. Oh my God, dude. This is so insane. I installed the 3090, watching uh, Formula 1, Portimao Grand Prix, Portugal, Europe gang. Look at this card. I only had uh, two extensions here for the PCI Express, so this one is looking kind of wonky, but uh, yeah, whatever. This it, does, it doesn't look as clean as I wanted it to, but hey, I don't really care. I love the black motherboard. And then everything else is white, looks cool. Okay guys, I have this much battery left on the camera. But look at that! It's working! It's working! And at this point, we're jumping forward a couple of months, from May to about June or July. I had everything up and running, but it wasn't very nice uh, being in here, so I decided to do something about it. So as of right now, sorry for the bad audio, I'm recording with a shitty mic. But this is what it looks like as of now. Uh, I've cleaned it up a bit. The plan is... LED strip here, other side of the room, LED strip here, or LED strip, whatever. Get some nice stuff on there, plant, plant, put up lamp in the ceiling, that lamp. Fix the screens because the, mon the, like, the right monitor is behind that screen and just like this is not the optimal setup. Uh, I have no idea how, how, like, how I'm gonna do that but we'll figure it out I guess. Fix a permanent place for the light permanent place for the camera, it usually sits on top of here. That's it, let's go. The idea is I wanna have one color on that side, one color on this side, so when I look into the camera, it's gonna be this cool two-colored light effect, you know? Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
Does that look cheap? Let me turn it on for you. No, I mean, it looks... It looks fine. Once we get the other one up as well, I, I, like, I don't love that part. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now, I think. Once we get some more lights in here, and uh, once it gets dark, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So, our next big problem is this. Roman Grosjean. No, but our problem is uh, the screen setup. Because uh, the monitor, the right monitor, is getting blocked by the right screen. And I'm not sure what to do about it. Yeah, I was thinking we could put it, like, over it. I don't know if that will work. Okay, so I think I'm going to mount that monitor. <laughs> on the wall, uh, but I don't have a wall mount laying around. Imagine something like this, you know. <gasps> Yo, I bought a wall mount and a new uh, internet cable. You actually get plugs with this, that's pretty cool. And here we go. This is the first type of wall mount that I ever got. I had this like seven years ago as well, in my uh, back when I was living with my parents. So this is kind of like an old friend to me. Okay, I'm not 100% sure about the placement of these holes, and uh, I only have one shot, so let's hope it works. Looks good so far. So now I'm gonna use these, because they are very nice on the drywall, you know. Let's pray uh, that it's not uh, at an angle. Great enough for me. What we can do now is raise, raise this screen back up again a bit. Yeah, boy. That looks sick, actually. Dog is like, what the hell? My dog casually sleeping, me. Oh my god, that's it. We got the screen up, guys. I'm so excited. I still have to fine tune a couple things, fix the cables, clean stuff up. Uh, but holy crap, that opened up so much space on my desk. Okay, weird camera angle right now, but um, but yeah, we still have some stuff to do in here actually. Wait. Oh my god, that's so cool! Yeah, I just quickly wanted to finish this video off because uh, I did something yesterday, which is very... Uh, uh, okay, so look. I tried putting these panels on the wall, right? And uh, they just fell off. I just put them up with uh, double-sided tape and... Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that, but I use double-sided tape for literally everything. But yeah, I'm just gonna put those up real quick and then I'll show you the final final studio music studio <laughs> but yeah watch me do this and uh, they will probably fall down again tomorrow double-sided tape very very nice all right i think i did it guys look at this dude 
<laughs> Wait. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to this mic for now, the camera microphone. Sorry, very bad audio. But just to round this video out a little bit, kind of give you a before and after idea. Still have to clean all of this up, sorry about that. The cable management is just terrible, uh, but I don't really mind that for some reason, but yeah. Avicii autograph, permanently mounted, of course. We have these panels, very nice. Can't really tell, but uh, at night with all the LEDs and stuff, they light up really nice. I want to put some more LEDs for stuff here. I know I'm an RGB gamer boy. But anyways, as you know, I mounted this on the wall, which meant I had one of these uh, monitor stands uh, left over. So this one is holding up this monitor. It looks like this. I don't know if you can tell. And then the, the stand that I had left over, I used it to mount the camera bracket. So the camera is actually permanently mounted in the same place, which is so, so nice. I'll throw up a picture of what it looks like when it's on there. It's like, it's so nice. The monitors, I'm thinking of putting them on like a pedestal, like I had in, in, the, in the old setup. I would have to drill in the desk and stuff, so I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, totally works as it is right now. I think it looks awesome. Very messy other than that, but this part starting to look pretty nice. I like it. So a quick explanation then of all the things that are in here, because I get these questions quite a lot. The ring light, I'm not sure where it is, it's like a off-brand cheap thing. Yamaha HS5s, I had this, the Sub-10 Swiss Sonic. Uh, that stopped working, I blew it when I was DJing, it ran hot and it doesn't work anymore. But if you're thinking of buying monitors, I would go for the HS7s or the HS8s. Because these don't have enough base on their own, so you would need to get a subwoofer. If you do want to get a subwoofer though with these, it's a great combination. Screen, it's a, I think it's Acer or Asus Predator, 175Hz. Not sure about the resolution, it's not 4K, but it's almost 4K. That's an AOC something, it's 1920 by 1080 but it's like 32 inch or something, both are curved. Very nice. BenQ light. Very nice, still use it. I was gifted it by BenQ, very nice light. Headphones, obviously. Very dynamic DD770 Pros, love these guys. Speakers and headphones go into the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Uh, third gen, is it? I don't know. It's like an okay audio card. Mic arm, generic brand thing. We've got the Shure SM7B with a FET amp from uh, Tuman. For those sim racers out there. <laughs> Logitech G29. I recently bought the CSL DD from Fanatec. It's uh, arriving in two weeks. Very excited about that. And last but not least, we have the computer, of course, that you saw me build. RTX 3090. It cost me my left kidney. But yeah, that's it. That's the whole tour. I hope you enjoyed this uh, special video. I had to sort of pull this out of, you know, in order to get a video up today. But uh, at the end of the day, I really enjoyed making this. I edited all of this uh, today on Friday. <laughs> so leave a like for that, please. But yeah, leave some comments, leave some questions, leave uh, whatever. I just like to talk gear and uh, stuff like that. If you have any ideas of what I could do in here, I'd love to hear them. Don't forget to use the discount if you're interested in that. Like I said, there won't be many people watching this. So you're one of the few. Big surprise coming next week. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash like, subscribe. Wishing you guys a great weekend. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.